Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you are getting ready for a very festive week ahead. So Santa's on his way, and today we're going to be doing kind of a pre-Christmas Eve, uh, relax, chill out night. So I'm gonna be preparing a couple of beverages and a snack plate for myself. And we're gonna start off with a snack plate. So tonight, I'm gonna be making two open face sandwiches for myself. And this is a delicious combination. So maybe after Christmas, if you have any leftovers, you might be able to make this really easily. So it's gonna start with, I got myself a lovely loaf of marbled rye bread. So that's gonna be my bread for tonight. And on top of that, I'm gonna put some mayonnaise and some Dijon mustard. We're gonna spread that out. And what this sandwich is gonna consist of is chicken breast, brie cheese, and it's gonna to be topped with Granny Smith apple slices. Lovely combination. Okay, let's get a little mustard on there. Now you know that I like to use a spoon to spread things onto my bread. Somehow I find this way of doing this easy to get all the way to the edges without a lot of difficulty. So I really like that. Okay, so we're just gonna smear this all around. Okay, and now it's time for our chicken. So I'm just gonna place a couple of slices of chicken meat right onto my bread. Let's see, how much can we get on here? I'm gonna try to get maybe three slices. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, that one, that one, two slices for that one. Okay, so there's the chicken. Now, what I did, um, you know, brie, brie is a little sticky when you cut it. So I actually cut this with a serrated knife and that really did the trick well. And I put this on, on wax paper so it doesn't, doesn't stick. Okay, so we're gonna lay the brie on top of the chicken. I'm a big brie fan. Okay, now we can get rid of that. And now we're gonna top this with Granny Smith apple slices. Wow, that looks so delicious. I really like the way that looks. Okay, so you see how we have this here? So I topped the bread with mustard and mayonnaise. I put some chicken breast that I cooked in my crock pot and put brie cheese on top of that and some Granny Smith slices. And I got a little bit of uh, some red grapes there to go with that. So there's my snack plate. Yum, I can't wait to dig into this. Okay, let's put that aside and we'll start on the beverages. Okay, tonight we're gonna start with a mocktail and then we're gonna do a cocktail. So our mocktail tonight is something that typically comes around this time of year and that is eggnog. So we're gonna start with store-bought eggnog. We're gonna to top it with some whipped cream and then we're gonna sprinkle some ground nutmeg on top. Okay, so I've got a pretty vintage glass here. I want to shake, be sure to shake your eggnog up. This came right out of the fridge, so it's nice and cold. We're gonna pour that into our glass. I'm not gonna fill it up because I wanna leave room for that whipped cream. I'm really excited about the holidays. How about you? What's Santa bringing you? Okay. So now we're gonna put some whipped cream in here. Oh, that looks great. Fun, fun, fun. 
Okay, and then we're gonna sprinkle a little nutmeg on top. Now I know it's gonna be a busy weekend for everybody. You probably have a lot of cooking, maybe still have some baking to do. So I encourage you to take a little time for yourself, take a little break, put some music on, sit by the tree, you know, look at everything and enjoy yourself, okay? And relax, okay. So there's my eggnog with whipped cream and some nutmeg on top. Oh, I can't wait for that to dip into that. Okay, now we're gonna make our cocktail. Okay, so we're gonna be bringing the shaker back. Okay, I've already got ice in here. And what we're making tonight is a variation of a cosmopolitan. I'm definitely a Cosmo girl, love my Cosmos, but this is a variation that is delicious. Okay, and we're, it's called the Santa Cosmopolitan. How about that? And we're starting off with a coconut rim glass. Looks like Santa's fur and the coupe glass. And now we're starting with typical drink of a part of a uh, Cosmo is cranberry juice. So we're starting with a half a cup of cranberry juice. Now the new ingredient that I really like is this white cran peach juice. This is kind of pinky and it tastes super delicious. So we're gonna add half a cup of this. Let me show you how that looks in the cup. Okay, so it's a very, very pale pink. Hard to see on the camera, it almost looks clear, but it's, it's, it's a very pale pink that's gonna go in here. Okay, and now we're going to add, what's, you know, usually for, for Cosmo, it's a higher amount of vodka and a lower amount of orange liqueur. I've got Cointreau here. This drink, it goes the other way around. So in this drink, it's going to be a whole ounce of the orange liqueur. So this, this is a two ounce shot glass. So it's gonna be half of this. And then it's gonna be a half an ounce of the vodka. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna pour that into our shaker. close this up. Okay, so we've got our Cointreau, we've got our vodka, we've got our two different kinds of cranberry juice, and now we shake. So remember when you're shaking, shake it till your hands are frozen, okay, then you know it's enough. Okay, I think that's about it. Okay, so we'll take the top off and we're gonna pour this into our glass. Wow. This, wow, what a beautiful color. It's slightly different, slightly different than the regular Cosmo with the, with the straight cranberry juice. I really like this. It's kind of a vibrant pink. That looks so sweet. Now, to do the rim, I didn't show you how to do the rim. They advise you to do the rim a little early so that this has a chance to set. And let me just sh quickly show you what I did. I had some corn syrup in, in a saucer, and I dipped my the rim of my glass into that. And then I had a little saucer with coconut shreds in it, and then I rolled my glass in that. So that's how you get the rim. And that just looks really super lovely and very Christmassy. I really want to wish you and your family a wonderful holiday week, weekend, happy new year. I'll be back here next Friday. We'll do something special for pre new years. And I just want to encourage you to again, treat yourself well, take care of yourself, take care of the people around you 
And when you're out visiting, drink responsibly. And if you're at home, enjoy yourself. Okay, cheers and Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon.